What's going on YouTube? <laughs> Ronin Frog87 here, and today I wanted to bring you guys a deck, a mashup actually, of two of my favorite archetypes: the much hated Burning Abyss, and the not as hated, and the not as hated because no one gives a crap about it, Volcanics. Now I know what you guys are thinking, uh, Ronin Frog, how can you call yourself a wrong deck player like you claim if your deck has Burning Abyss? To which I say, you know, guys, um. Come on, it has volcanics in it, which have never been tier 1. And besides, I actually liked Burning Abyss before they were cool. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm, I'm a filthy hipster. But enough small talk, let's get to the deck profile. <laughs> Alright, so first off, we have the triple tour guide, because of course, any burning a dick... Any burning a... I was going to say burning a dick. <laughs> any burning a abyss deck. <laughs> oh my god. Any Burning Abyss deck has to have Triple Tour Guide. And then I have the One Edge M Sabers, the Skarm, three, Triple Skarm, One Sir, Triple Volcanic Rocket, he's basically the Shadows of the deck, Triple Volcanic scatter, Scattershot, Triple Volcanic Shell, uh, Triple fi Roll of fire, Firestorm Guards, the One Staple Stand Steel, uh, Soul Charge, Triple Typhoon, One Blaze Accelerator, One Wildfire, Triple Blaze Accelerator Magazine. I'm looking really forward to this card coming up in Secrets of Eternity. Uh, one Bottomless. The One Compulsory. The Karma Cut. Two Karma Cut, actually. Two Phoenix Wing, Wind Blast. Two Racket Break. And two Breakthrough Skill. Now, let's discuss the deck. Okay, so aside from the obvious... Uh, yeah, aside from the obvious triple tour guide, the Edge M Sabers is here because you know it helps you with rank three plays sometimes, and sometimes you these guys like you'll draw multiple of them, or and in, in the case you wanted to fire them off with the you know double from the deck with the plays like, with the magazine, you can always put them on top, and you know uh, put one of these cards on top to activate Edge to activate Sabers effect and get Sabers out and make a rank three play and do whatnot, you know. Because sometimes what's bad about burning, uh, what's bad about Volcanics guys is you don't want to see too many of these guys in your hand, so that kind of helps out with that. Plus, yeah, but, you know, if you have double shell in your hand and you don't have this out on the field, but you do have a shell in the graveyard, you can always, you know, put one back on top of the deck, pay the 500, and search it out again, you know, mitigating its cost. And of course, the triple scarm, because guys, scarm is basically kind of like Sangin 2.0. I know that um, he's nowhere near as good as Sangin. But he'll search out the tour guys, he can search out the edge M sabers, and he can search out the sir, of course. And I just play the one sir because, you know, I didn't really have room to put that many Burning Abyss monsters in here. And I wouldn't want to put Graph because, you know, I'd rather just, you know, get sir to recur Skarm and to recur Dante, of course. And then we have the uh, triple volcanic rocket and obvious any volcanic, if you're going to splash this engine, you're going to have to run triple because he gets you these babies right here. And of course, Volcanic Scatter Shot, they work like a Raigeki, and they do. Now, the ruling's kind of confusing, guys, because the old ruling was that when you dump these guys, you know how it says, you know, inflict 100 damage to your opponent for, you know, when he hits the graveyard, and that's a mandatory effect. But the old upper deck ruling was that, you know, even if all three get dumped by an effect, you uh, you only burn for 1,000 damage, but I'm pretty, but that has not been updated in forever, and I hope Konami updates it, because basically the burn damage is mandatory. So, Essentially, it'll go from 1,000 damage to 1,500 damage. And, of course, the triple volcanic show, because it's shell, it's a plus one. Especially with when you activate these guys. This is just awesome. Like, uh, for those of you guys who don't know what this card is, you know, brush you up. It says, well, whoops. <laughs> this card's name is Triad Blood Accelerator while it's face up on the field. In the, uh, during either player's main phase, you can send one volcanic card from your graveyard to accept volcanic eruption. And if you do, draw one card. You can only use this effect of Blaze Accelerator Magazine once per turn. During either player's main phase, you can banish this card in your grave from your graveyard. Send one mechanic card from your deck to the graveyard, except mechanic erection. That's good, because you know, it gives this deck more draw power, especially with the shells. You know, dump a shell, you draw a card, you pay the 500, you search another shell. So that's pluses right there. And with this one, it basically, you know, it's basically, this guy's a little basic Raigeki plus burn. So I know, uh... Raigeki, you know, I know like Master Rule isn't so good because everything floats, but when you're in a pinch, especially like when your opponent's trying to go ham on you, you know, in his during their main phase, of course, you can always remove this and then jump, dump him and then just blow up your opponent's uh, monsters. So it's always uh, pretty awesome. And of course, uh, I'm not so sure about running triple, but you know, I needed, I needed something to fill, fill it up. So yeah, you can, you can only just run two because I think three is really overkill, but you know, basically, he's like a 
the pot of avarice of the deck. And of course, Nats nice 2 because it's freaking broken. The Soul Charge because why not? Of course, the Triple Typhoon because you have to. And yeah, everything else is basically explanatory except for the Blaze Accelerator. It's just another, you know, discard outlet for the Karma Cuts. And so are the shells. You know, everything has to flow together well. And so why not? Well, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the... Oh, yeah. Duh, I didn't even talk about the extra deck. The extra deck is basically pretty simple. You know, you ran your 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 common rank threes, of course, the Double Dante. Or, you know, to, you can, like, fix it for however you want. The, you know... You know, most of the staple rank fours as well. And of course, downer to lay on to lay over. All right, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like and comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It really means a lot to me. If you would, you'd be doing me a huge favor if you do. And if you already are subscribed, thank you guys so much. I, I, um, I really appreciate your continued support. And as always, guys, I am Rona Frog Eight Seven. Bidding you farewell, and I'll see you guys on the next one.